Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to just give you a really quick update because I haven't done a vlog in a couple of weeks because I was filming a vlog and then I dropped my vlog camera and it broke, which is really sad. Uh, I was having a hard time justifying whether I should buy a new camera because since I made this account seven months ago, I think I made a hundred dollars. <laughs> so it does feel really silly to buy a new camera. It's hard to justify. I'm trying to be really smart with my money, be a budget babe, steward my blessings the way God intended. And it's kind of hard for me to justify, but I thought about it. And so I went just, you know, see, and the camera that I use is sold out everywhere, all back ordered, no indication as to when it will come back in stock. I don't know what's going on there, so I'm not sure maybe I should try to find a repairman to fix it if it's possible. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I wanted to just hop on here and at least let you guys know. I just filmed a chatty topical video that hopefully will be okay. I tried to film one last week and I ended up hating it and not uploading it, so I don't even know if I will post that one. So yeah, but if, if I did, I'll link it below for you guys for sure. Go check it out. But yeah, that's why I've been kind of MIA. Um, yeah, but I hopefully will be back soon. Hopefully I'll be able to figure something out camera wise. But I have also really wanted to do more sit down topical videos. So maybe this is like a sign from God to just finally do it. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys um, one quick little life update. I started volunteering at the thrift store and I'm so happy about it. When I started volunteering, I told you guys at the food bank, I always had actually preferred to volunteer at the thrift store, but when I emailed them, they said, when are you free to come in for an interview? And you guys know me, people are terrifying. So I just like didn't. And I went to the food bank and said, because the food bank, you can just kind of show up. There's no like interview. But then over time, I just didn't really want to, to be there. I knew that I wanted to be at the thrift store. One of the ladies that I met at the food bank also volunteered at thrift store and I loved talking to her and I just, I don't know, it just felt right. I felt really called to go to the thrift store. So I stopped being a little baby and I went and I had an interview and it went really well. The ladies there are all so, so incredibly kind. And yeah, now I volunteer at the thrift store once a week and it's so awesome. It's all these um, distinguished women well into their years with grandchildren and they're all so sweet. And the reason I wanted to mention this is because I find it so fascinating and inspiring the way the very first thing that any of these ladies want to tell me about is their grandchildren. I am sure that they all had careers or at least probably some of them did. In fact, I know some of them did because I have heard other conversations that they've had when they talk about when they used to have a job. But their very first thing, the thing that they are most proud of is their grandchildren, is their family legacy. And I think that is just such a good reminder because so often as women, we have been raised to care first and foremost about our career and finding a good career and motherhood and marriage can just like come later if, if we want to, but it's no big deal. When in reality, I think for so many of us, that is our true calling. Of course, I'm not saying that we can't also have careers. We can't have other aspirations. I know I do, but at the end of the day, the most important work that you are going to do is raise the next generation or the next generations in the case of a lot of these ladies. And you can just see how proud they are and how much they love their family. And it's just so beautiful and so inspiring. So I just wanted to share that because I thought that was such an interesting, um, I don't know, observation, I suppose. I mean, get the mix. I love. I don't know. Now I'm making it sound like I'm a scholar. I didn't mean it like that, but just, it's just cool to witness. And it really helps to solidify the thoughts that I have in my own mind of really wanting to prioritize family over career. Also, because I'm at the thrift store, I get to go thrifting a little bit more. I love thrifting, but I just never go because I don't like leaving the house. <laughs> but now I'm forced to go there every single week. And so I get to do a little bit of shopping before. Last week, I found a really amazing gold frame. I can insert a picture, assuming I can find one. Oh my gosh, I love it. It was only $10 and it's so beautiful and really nice size. I originally got it because I really want to do a gallery wall and this one huge plain wall we have that I don't know what else to do with. So I'm trying to slowly collect frames. 
and it was just perfect but then i got home and i got to thinking and i thought it would just be so perfect for our wedding party that we have in a couple of months i don't know if you guys have seen other people do this but it's like a signature frame so you have a kind of small photo of you and your husband in the middle and then all this white space around it for everyone to sign and you hang it up during your wedding party so everyone can sign it and then now you have this memory that you can hang up on your wall so i think that's what we're gonna do with it now and i'm so happy about it oh i love it and then this week, I think I got something. Oh, I got a really cute bag. Uh, my role at the thrift store is to organize all of the bags that come in to clean them, decide if they're fit for actually selling or whether we just recycle them. And then I price them and everything. It's so, so fun, so satisfying. And so of course now I see a lot of bags and I just couldn't resist this one really cute brown bag, but I can't be bothered to show you guys. I'll show you another time. But then yesterday, look what I got. This little baby dress. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. This is, I would wear this. I love it, look how tiny it is. Like this is my baby in my arm. So tiny. So yeah, this is the very first baby clothes I've ever bought. I'm obviously not pregnant or anything like that. I just couldn't resist. And me and my husband have been talking a lot lately about starting a family very, very soon. And we've been talking about baby names. We pretty much decided on two girl names, their full names, and I love them. And so now we always say their names when we're talking. And I was like, look, I got this for baby name. And it's just really exciting. We cannot for the life of us think of any boy names. I don't know why boy names are so hard. Um, well, it's not even, I just can't convince my husband of any of the boy names that I like. I really like Wesley and Finley, but he cannot get on board at all. There was a, I wouldn't tell you guys, cause I'm not gonna tell you guys the name of our actual kids, but. Those ones sadly will not be in use. So go ahead and use them because I think they're just the prettiest. Wesley, oh, just love that name so much. But yeah, so life has been pretty good other than the fact that I'm melting to death right now and I'm excited to go outside because it's getting warm. And um, I thought I had something else I wanted to mention but I don't know what it was. So yeah, long story short, hopefully I figure out a new camera or get mine fixed or something. I gotta figure something out because this setup is really annoying to have my laptop here. You might even hear the fan. It's just not good. I'm filming on my DSLR. I didn't say that if you're confused. Like when, how do you have a camera then? I'm filming on my DSLR. I tried maybe filming on, but my DSLR, you need a microphone. So it's just really not practical for vlogging. I tried filming on my phone, but I have a really old phone. Oh, where's my phone? My phone is not that old. I think it's six years old. It's old though. Like you can tell with the video quality, it's not very good. Yeah, so I need to figure something out. But before I go, I will insert a couple of clips. After I dropped my vlog camera last week and the footage was all wonky, I still filmed a couple of clips on my phone to show you guys seed starting because my seeds are looking fire. Oh my gosh, they're looking so good. I'm so, so happy that I finally figured it out. And oh my gosh, I'm just it's the best. So I show you guys the process as I planted a few more seeds. So I'm gonna insert all of those clips right now be forewarned that the quality is really bad, <laughs> but I wanted to just like add something else at least. So I have something to post this week. So I will insert that right now. Okay. <gasps> you guys, the battery died. So I was just changing it and I dropped my camera and my camera's already fallen apart. Like look at all the tape I have holding it together. And now it's just, the lens is not working and it won't, it won't turn on. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. Oh, okay, well, I'll have to figure that out for my next video, but sorry, now the camera quality is probably not very good because my phone, it's just my phone. I think that's pretty much all I had to say. I just kind of wanted to mention all of that. The motherhood is ugh, magical. Babies are magical. I'm obsessed and I just, I can't wait for that next phase of my life to start, God willing. Ugh. <sighs> okay. So I guess I can't do very much now, but I figure maybe I can get my other tripod out and we can still do some seed starting. And I'll just show you guys the process in case it's still quite daunting or new to you. You can see how simple it is. And oh my gosh, okay, I'll show you guys right now my other plants that I showed you guys two, how long has it been, three weeks ago? It's been a bit and they look freaking amazing. They are thriving. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Like I told you guys last year, they were such a fail. They did not live, but these ones are doing really good. I'm so, so happy about it. So here they are. I'll turn the light off actually, just so it's not so pink and <laughs> it's hard to see. 
Oh my gosh, look at them. This one did not germinate very well. It didn't take, but there's a few, which is fine. Look at the little baby one. There's a little baby one back there too. Oh my gosh. Like I'm getting to the point where they almost need, I don't know, bigger pots or more soil or something. <laughs> I didn't really think this time would come, but we're graduating. It's very exciting. So I'll just run and grab my tripod and get all of my seed starting supplies. And we can start some basil, I think we'll do today. And also some hollyhocks. Don't these look so pretty? Yeah, so I'll get everything ready and we can do some seeds. Okie dokie. Hopefully you guys can see. Oh, Maui, you wanna come say hi? <laughs> Here's the most handsome of man's. Can you say hi? How are you? Why are you perfect? Why are you my perfect boy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> you give the best hugs. Okay, let's do some seed starting. Now, this is the method that I did this time around that I really liked. I filled up this plastic tub, which is a storage tub that I already had, with a bag of potting soil. And then the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that the soil is nice and wet. So I'm just gonna pour some water on top. Put on your gloves. We're about to get dirty. So I have this, I think it's called a soil blocker. I got this on Amazon. I really am liking it. The reason why I, oh, can I, <gasps> here my, the reason I like using this and why I wanted to try a soil blocker is now I can take my little blocks of soil once my plants are ready to be transplanted into the ground outside and I can just put the block directly into the soil instead of what people normally do is they grow the seeds in little plastic pots, but then you have to take the plant out of the pot before you can transplant it. And that really disrupts the roots. So this is just a easier method. Your plant is happier. It's more likely to thrive after you transplant it instead of, you know, struggling and squishing it and trying to get it out of the little container. So I really like this little seed block thingy. And I think it was like $40 or something. So not that bad and hopefully it'll last me forever and then eventually it would even be cheaper than having to buy those containers every single year right so all we're gonna do i don't know how i'm gonna show you guys but all i'm gonna do is use my hands to fill the seed blocker with as much soil as possible and you really want to push down into it and just like pack the soil in there so we're gonna do that so i'm holding it upside down and i'm just going to shove it in there, kind of like making a sand castle. So yeah, you really want to push it in. Like so, I didn't fill these last two because I only want six blocks of soil. All right, then we just transfer it to the tray that we're going to be using. And all you do is press down kind of slowly Ta-da! Little soil blocks. So there's our little soil blocks all ready to go. Now all we need to do is add our seeds. So before we do that, make sure you get some kind of label. You can literally use packing tape and write on it, painter's tape, whatever, anything. Just because they all look the same at the beginning when they're little seedlings and it's really hard to tell what's what. So it's important to know what you have where because they all kind of require different things. So we're gonna do some basil and some hollyhocks today. Another thing that's gonna be helpful is to look at the package of whatever seed because they all have slightly different rules of how they need to be seed started. So these ones say, sow seeds on the surface of the soil. Some will say cover by like a millimeter or two. So that's something important to know. So now all I'm gonna do is divide. I usually like to do a couple of seeds per square because you just don't know how many are gonna actually take. 
So I'll probably do at least two in every single one of these blocks. Just like that, just a few. And then, what does the basil say? Sow seeds one centimeter deep and keep moist until seeds germinate. Here you go. So we'll add these as well. And then you just kind of gently cover with a little bit of soil. Now we're going to take some sort of cover. I've seen people use literally cling wrap, but I just have these from last year, these little clear container things that fit perfectly over top of my seed blocks. And this you only need until they germinate. So the minute there's even like a little bit of sprouting, this comes off and you get that fan going now to give it proper airflow. But you'll notice, especially after we water these, that it will get a lot of condensation and that's exactly what you want. You want a lot of warmth and moisture. Okay. Then I like to just fill up the tray. I don't know, a centimeter or two. And then we're just gonna take it and put it right under the grow lights and on a heating mat. And there it is. Now I do definitely need to raise this up so it's closer to the lights, but I actually, I'm gonna try to find more zip ties and see if I can just lower the lights instead. But otherwise it's good to go, it's on its heating mat. And now we're just waiting until it starts to germinate. Every plant will germinate at a different speed, but usually you see something within a week. So I'll update you guys. Okay, so that's everything for this video. Sorry, it was short and random. I'm praying that by next week, I figure something out for camera wise and we can do a proper video. But yeah, I love you guys. I hope you are all doing absolutely amazing. I hope you guys are loving the nice weather. Finally, springtime. And yeah, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at Gwen the Milkmaid, and I will see you soon.